Hello, I'm Dr. Marielena Alvarez, and today I will talk about the danger of xylitol for dogs. Xylitol is a sugar alcohol used as a sweetener in many products. Most people have no idea that the artificial sweetener xylitol found in sugarless gum and other candies is toxic to dogs. While most people know that chocolate is toxic to dogs, few people are aware that xylitol is estimated to be 100 times worse. Xylitol's consumption is considered safe in people, but in dogs can cause their blood sugar to drop to life-threatening levels and in severe cases can cause liver failure. Xylitol is found in mints, pudding, gelatin snack, mouthwash, toothpaste, and baked products. It can be purchased as a granulated form for baking and as a sweetener for cereals and beverages. Alarmingly, many peanut butter and other nut butter brands have started using xylitol. This is important to know because many veterinarians in the past have recommended coating medications with peanut butter to get patients to take their meds. Xylitol's growing popularity is based on its many beneficial properties for people. Xylitol is as sweet as sucrose, which is table sugar, but has only two-thirds of the calories of sugar. Because of its little insulin release in people, it is considered a good sugar substitute for those on a low-carbohydrate diet and those concerned with the glycemic index of food. Xylitol has activity against the formation of cavities, which is why it is increasingly being included in sugarless gum, toothpaste, and other oral care products. Dogs metabolize xylitol differently than people, which is why in dogs it is life-threatening. Xylitol triggers the release of insulin. Insulin is a hormone in charge of lowering the blood sugar. So if insulin is released, the blood sugar comes down. The dog, in response to xylitol, will release insulin. Actually, it releases much more insulin than it does in response to glucose, and that leads to a sudden drop in blood sugar, a condition known as hypoglycemia. The clinical signs of hypoglycemia include unsteadiness, depression, dilated pupils, and in severe cases, seizures. The clinical signs of hypoglycemia can develop 30 to 60 minutes after the ingestion of xylitol, but may be delayed up to 12 hours. Xylitol's effect on insulin release and blood glucose varies greatly among species. In people, rats, and horses, it causes little to no increase in insulin release or changes to blood glucose concentration. Xylitol's effect on insulin release and blood glucose in cats and in ferrets is unknown. Xylitol may also lead to acute liver failure. Some dogs may develop elevated liver enzyme activity 12 to 24 hours after xylitol ingestion. The estimated toxic dose of xylitol is estimated to be between 75 to 100 milligrams per kilogram. That's easy to calculate. If we have a 22 pound dog, that dog weighs 10 kilograms. So if 100 milligrams per kilogram is toxic, that means that 1,000 milligrams of xylitol would be a toxic dose. However, determining how much xylitol the patient ingested is another matter, and that's not very easy to calculate for different reasons. One being that manufacturers believe that the level of xylitol in a product is proprietary information and they refuse to disclose it. Also, the level of xylitol varies not only from manufacturer to manufacturer, but also from flavor to flavor. The amount of xylitol in one piece of gum varies from 0 0.9 to 1,000 milligrams. That's a big difference. That means that for that 22 pound dog that we calculated the toxic dose to be 1,000 milligrams, it could take just one stick of gum to cause a life-threatening condition. The form of xylitol in a product affects its toxicity as well. Some xylitol is in a powder form, for example in mint and candies, and is absorbed quickly in the system, causing clinical signs of illness in 30 minutes. Gum is different. You have to chew the gum to release the xylitol. Dogs tend to swallow the gum whole without chewing it. The xylitol will still be released into the stomach, but it could take up to 12 hours, and that's why the onset of clinical signs varies. With gum, we have more time to act, more time to try and make the dog vomit, and decrease the amount of xylitol that is absorbed. In any case, once a person knows that a dog has ingested sugarless gum, or any other product that contains xylitol, it's important that they immediately contact their veterinarian or call a pet poison line, such as the Pet Poison Helpline or the ASPCA Poison Control. The typical treatment of xylitol toxicity is supportive treatment of fluids supplemented with dextrose. Dextrose is a type of sugar. So if their sugar is down, we're going to give them sugar until they are able to maintain a normal blood level. In the case of liver disease, we're going to give the patient liver protectants in addition to the supportive care. Because xylitol is in so many products, be sure to read labels carefully. Products that list xylitol as the first ingredient tend to be the most toxic. It is advised to keep food and products that are intended for people out of dog's reach. If at any point you suspect that your dog could have ingested a product that contains xylitol, call your veterinarian immediately. Okay, that's all for today on Xylitol. If you have any questions, give us a call. Thank you and have a great day.